Okay, Maria back with another video, and today is Monday, which is the worst day of the week for me. And as I was sitting at my desk today, I started kind of trying to put the pieces together as to how Facebook and my employment collided. And um, I can only guess that my oldest sister, um, which she's been doing this all my life, like she would use this excuse about her and her husband being concerned concerned about me, and so um, I personally think her concern, her so-called concern, is just an excuse to destroy my life. Um, you know, I, I'm just tired of, <laughs> I'm tired of people, or what I call people who are weak in their faith, um, people who are um, so desperate to believe something that they're trying to force other people to believe it. That's very, very annoying to me. Um, it shows a, a lack of strength and belief uh, in, in what they're supposed to be standing for. But So anyway, today I was thinking about, you know, how all of this could have happened. So I'm thinking, okay, um, I knew this, this, I had my Facebook account in 2008, and I know that um, I was working in, in Chatsworth at that horrible company. But then after, in 2009, I did come back here, and I do know that like, right when I got back to Bakersfield, I noticed that some of the people in the community were just kind of extremely rude. And so um, I'm, I'm putting all of this together, and I think people's imaginations just ran wild. And, and it irritates me so much because all of this could have been resolved, you know. Um, it's one thing to gossip on Facebook, but to allow that to affect your employment, to me, is just I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. And for the reasons that um, the only thing I'm guilty of is is lying to my husband. That's it. So if that was the issue alone, then that issue alone is based on racism, and that should have never happened. Um, and the other issue is, um, you know, someone who separates from their husband, that's between uh, the husband and, and, and the wife. You know, it, it has nothing to do with, <coughs> with anyone else. Um, and everybody should know, I mean, like I said, these are basic employment laws. So I'm just baffled. I'm baffled. Um, I do realize today, I was thinking, you know, I'm really severing ties with my past. Like, I want nothing to do with my past at all. At all. I don't want any memory of my family. I don't want any memory of the people I used to know. I don't want any of them in my life at all. And I'm going to say that making this sort of cleansing or this transition is not... Um, something that's easy. I mean, don't get me wrong, I probably won't miss these people because once you put me in a situation like this, to me, this is the most unforgivable thing somebody can ever do. You do not ever dictate my life as, and you definitely do not put your grubby fucking hands on my employment. You don't do that. Um, this is one way of me taking care of myself and this to me was just un absolutely uncalled for. So, um, I'm dealing with a lot of, um, what do you call it, I wouldn't call it, it, depression, I would say a lack of energy, I'm like completely, my energy levels are gone, okay, um, my faith in people in general is just basically dead, I mean, I will never look at another person the same way again, um, I just, I cannot believe how evil these people are, I mean, the, the very fact that they would go so far to uh, create and spread rumors on such a wide scale and then, on top of it, affect my employment. I will never overlook this. I will never overlook this. So I'm dealing with a lot of fear and anxiety um, because I know that, like, well, my, my job right now is draining me. I cannot deal waking up in the morning going to that fucking job. I fucking hate it. I cannot tell you how draining it is how unexciting it is, how unstimulating it is, how absolutely, utterly worthless it is to me. Because all of the things that I've done, and what I'm doing at that job, I've done many years before, and I don't feel as though it's um, really going to help me build back on my resume. Even though I've had, oh, I'm, I'm close to 20 years in doing accounting, but still, it's not the kind of work that I want to do. Um, I don't like the environment that I'm in. I, and, you know, owners are very nice. I mean, they, they've been polite to me, okay? And so I can't really complain. I do appreciate them giving me work. But I don't like the office environment. I don't like the employees. 
uh, particularly the secretary. And, um, you know, she's already made that very clear from the very get-go. So it's not a very good job for me. Um, it barely pays my bills, but it's kind of keeping me afloat for now. Um, you know, I there are people in this town that have done worse, okay, worse than I have. Like, like one of my previous, my former boss, okay, like this person, I, I'm not going to go into all the things that she's done, but... I mean, people need to wake up and see that this whole bullshit, um, I'm not saying Christianity in general is bullshit, but the, when people try to enforce Christianity or try to shove it down your throat, generally they're trying to hide their true colors, which is just downright evil. And the that weirdest part is they don't realize that they're evil because they think that they're doing something for a cause. They think that they are right when they're doing this. And this goes back to all the mind control that... Um, I was warned about, you know, in my earlier years, and I am very um, open about, you know, I'm very vigilant when it comes to um, those sort of issues, so, but, um, I mean, you know, I, I keep thinking about some of the ways that I was treated by some of these employers, and, um, I, I mean, I, I, I can't tell you how shocked I am. I mean, I, I'm dealing with a lot of shock right now as well as this regular trauma from being like post-traumatic um, stress disorder. Because I'm going to tell you what, when people are playing with your life like this, that is a very terrifying thing. It is, I, it, it is to me, the equivalent of going to war. It is terrifying. Uh, it is disturbing to me. It is um, um, it's sickening. It really is. And um, to um, worry, you know, that you know, you're never going to be able to get back um your financial footing and that um something like a facebook picture can literally destroy your life okay and no no explanation they don't want you to explain they just want to make up the story and 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 whatever any like i said any woman would put the best picture um that she has of herself and i don't take many, very many pictures of myself and um but that was, I do remember that picture. I keep thinking, yeah, that looks like pretty cool. I, I'll use this one. I, you know what? Big fucking mistake, okay? I, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm ever going to get back on Facebook. I highly doubt it. But uh, this is, to me, is just like the worst thing that has ever happened to me. And it's shocking to know that my family never wished me well, not one day in my life, okay? Um, I have struggled for many years to try to get my footing, okay? And it seems like, you know, every time something significant was going on in my life or anything was going on in my life, my family would, you know, create chaos at work so it would become unbearable for me to handle. Um, my family is sick. They're sick, okay? Um, my oldest sister, her husband, and I don't know, I can't understand why my middle sister, my um, second to the oldest sister, would get involved with, with this religious thing, probably because it was a social outlet for her, and they probably want to be accepted. I, I don't know. But uh, it is just absolutely mind-boggling how people can put other people in this situation. Um, you know, when I think about getting pregnant when I was before I was married, um, I was just a young girl, okay, and I don't even understand, like, um, there are girls that I've known who who were just, like, what I would call promiscuous, okay, I, I wouldn't even call myself that, and, uh, you know, you would think <laughs> that people wouldn't be so judgmental, I mean, I have done everything I could to be responsible for everything that I've ever done, and, like, if I made a mistake, I always tried my hardest to, to um, you know, fix it. And I, I never asked anybody for any help. Um, I never, I, I tried to be as self-sufficient as I possibly could. And what bothers me is that my family, to me, I, I would think that my family's actions demonstrated their hatred for my son. Okay? Because it, you cannot tell me that my family didn't hate my son. Because if, if they did care, they wouldn't have done what they did. Okay? They, they didn't have to care about me. Okay, but they could have cared about my child. They could have cared about that, and they didn't. Okay, Sca family scapegoating is a very sick, sick thing. Okay, and it's a mental illness within a family, 
Um, and I do believe that their hatred uh, for me was unjustified. Because, I mean, seriously, this has been going on since I was a kid. What could I have possibly done as a child? Okay, what could I have done that was just so terrible for this shit to start happening, even as, going back as, as far as I could remember, you know, on the school playground? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start off with the first grade, okay? Um, th that's how far I can remember it going back. I remember little arguments that we had before that, but as far as all the bullshit that, you know, the... Uh, trying to sabotage my relationships and this sort of stuff. This has been going on since I can remember first grade. And so what could, have, what could a person have done at that age to cause that? It, it just goes right back down to, to family scapegoating. And I just, um, <laughs> I'm just shocked and um, amazed at how employers can jump on this. Now, if employers were jumping on this, they were just doing it because either they saw a black woman's face and they were responding based on racism but or, or something. Because I honestly can't understand how um, some of these employers who I've never even met before could get involved in my heart, my, my targeting. I, I just don't understand that. So, I'm trying to, I think I pieced it together. I'm assuming that um, the commotion got started on Facebook starting in 2008. And it just kind of went from there, probably intensified after I left the farmer's place. And um, because they were, she was, my family was already stirring up rumors and bullshit. And then um, by the time I left the farmer's place, it just got to the point where it was explosive and people wanted to murder me anyway because they were conjuring up bullshit in their minds. That's the only thing I can think of, okay? Now, when it comes to the, I know that I was blacklisted from several agencies. So I'm assuming that um, maybe Laura Hill may have contacted a bunch of other people and it just kind of spread like wildfire. Um, blacklisting is illegal. And I have no reason. There is no reason for me to be blacklisted. There is no bl reason for me whatsoever to be denied employment. And sure as hell, I, am not in, I should not be in any position to be in, uh, in a situation where somebody is choosing my jobs, okay? I am just owning my family. I'm disowning every member of my family. And if it comes to my husband's mother, um, I want nothing to do with her. So um, she's not even considered anything to me. So Maria stands alone. So how in the world did it get to the point where um, these agencies would shut me out? For what reason? Because it's based on rumors. And this is how gang stalking thrives. It thrives on rumors. It thrives on um, assumptions, okay? Because like I said, this could have been this could have been solved like you know with it with a, a conversation okay but the fact of the matter is even if my sister would have posed that question to me I'm under no obligation to give her any information I am a grown adult okay mind you my life has been very very humdrum okay it has been very humdrum and I have done everything I could to take care of my son to the best of my ability and these freaks were there every step of the way making sure my life would never, I mean, things would never happen. So, anyway, um, that's the only thing I can think of. I think that my family probably kept in contact with um, the people that I used to work with probably at the news station because that was my first big, big job here. And then, um, and then it just kind of went from there. And I do believe that these people were probably involved in it the more I think about it. Um, which is wrong. They should have never fucking got involved. And that's my point. That's what I'm trying to say. And that's my point. And what I feel is though where many people have their weakness in this spot, I am, I would say, um, I kind of pick up where a lot of people leave off. Like I said, when it comes to employment, um, these people should have known better. They should have known better. Um, and here I am, a person who's competent in their job, and I'm just sitting here working like a piece of shit job. It makes absolutely no sense, okay? And there are so many people who, um, to me, like I said, who've done things far worse than I have, okay? And yet they're working, and they're, they're living their life, and they're doing whatever. And I'm supposed to be, I'm being treated like I'm a criminal, like I, created, um, I committed a crime. It is not a crime, okay, to lie about your race, okay? But it is a crime, okay? To gang stop. It is a crime to blacklist. It is a crime. It is a crime to do those sort of things. Okay. These people, everybody who got involved in my targeting, are criminals. Plain and simple. I'm not a criminal. I'm not a criminal. 
<clears throat> I'm just a person who was a victim and target of hatred and jealousy by my own family, okay? And they are, um, I would consider my family kind of mentally disturbed at this point. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. It was a hellish Monday, as it always is every fucking Monday. But um, anyway, I just want to make that recording, and so I will come back with another video at another time. Take care. Bye-bye.